Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Still not in my car, which, uh, you know, I had a three-day weekend, which was pretty nice. If you guys had a really good Memorial Day, I know I did. I got to see the family, uh, hung out with my wife. We got a lot of food. Um, today starts the first day of uh, the new journey, the new diet uh, again. I'm not going to diet. I'm going to lifestyle change mainly so we'll be working on that i'm i'm going to try to hold myself accountable so please please root for me <laughs> so uh, i made a video uh, a daily bits video about chili the other day and sometimes sometimes i you know i'll say something like off kilter like the term woke i use that term a lot use it a lot you're probably thinking are you some kind of conservative douchebag no i'm i'm more of a centrist um i Look on both sides, and I can see the faults and the goodness on both sides. Um, I don't really ally to either one of them. Now, you're probably wondering who I voted for, and, you know, I've talked about that too. But I'm not going to talk about that here. So I do I do use the word, the, the term woke a lot, because I, honestly, like, I've been watching a lot of stuff the last few years that's been bothering me. Some of the big talking points that I consider wokeness is... The whole blue line bad, uh, which, you know, you, you hear a lot on the extreme left. And I'm not talking about people that are left. I'm not talking about people who are right. I'm talking about extremists. Now, on the right, there's extremists. And on the left, there's extremists. Uh, we, can both agree, we can all agree on that, right? I hope so. Now, whenever I talk about the woke stuff, and it could be just because, you know, some of the stuff I watch, uh, they use that term a lot. And, you know, I'm probably using it in the wrong uh, context sometimes, and I, I I agree with that. But whenever I talk about that stuff, I talk about you know some of the key talking points in some of the, the super far left stuff like defund the police, uh, get rid of the police, um, you know more government, which you know they want more government, they want sanctuary cities and all this stuff, uh, less law enforcement. Now, I watched the video. This, this is why I say it. This was a long time ago during the Summer of Love, which, you know, pretty much all these cities got burnt down for the most part. I think it was Portland, Oregon. Um, I'm pretty sure that was where I was at. Um, this wasn't, not the Kyle Rittenhouse stuff. Um, but there was this case where this girl got arrested. She was throwing glass bottles at some cops. And, you know, she was apparently Antifa. Uh, some people says that Antifa doesn't exist, but I do disagree because, again, there is far left and far right extremists, and Antifa happens to be one. It's not it's not just a, an idea. It's a real thing. People actually claim they are in Antifa, just like how the right say they have, uh, what, what are they called, the Proud Boys? Just like that. Um, now, the girl in question was screaming and yelling at the cops, telling them, I hope you die. I hope all your families die and burn in hell and stuff like that. Now, I draw, I draw a conclude, my, I draw my conclusion on the fact how Chile was basically justifying cops getting shot or killed, saying it's okay, basically. And you know what? He didn't come out and completely say it, but that's what he meant. That's what he meant, in my opinion. Um, and that's where I kind of drawn that from. Uh, you know, I say woke because. There is wokeness. Wokeness is a real thing. Okay? You got wokeness, then you got red pilling. Um, or what What do they call it? The left calls uh, conservative conservatives Nazis. They use that word uh, and really it, they, they make that word not as impactful because, you know, Nazi is a powerful word. Uh, woke is a powerful word. Uh, and like I said, I do use that word quite a bit. Whenever I talk in daily things, like I watch a lot of stuff, a lot of watching, a lot of media, some some good, some bad. I don't watch Fox News. I know some people like that. I I would maybe watch Tucker Carlson every once in a while. Uh, you know, I I watch people like Joe Rogan and stuff like that. Um, and not necessarily far right, but kind of right there in the middle. Uh, that's where I stand on things. And you know, I'm not going to apologize for using the word woke. I'm not going to do that. Um, but, you know, that's where I took that from. That's what I was trying to get at. And, you know, I wasn't aiming to offend anybody that happens to be 
you know, on the left. Because there's, again, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, I, I, I was far left for the lo longest time. I was what you would call an extremist for a long time. I used to be um, very extreme, uh, arguing and all this stuff, like wishing the same things that uh, some of the far left say. Like, I was a part of that group for a long time. And, you know, I, as older, older I got, uh, the more center I, I went. I wouldn't say I got red-pilled. I just kind of grew up a little bit, and I kind of see things a different way. Um, this is how I think people should live their lives. I think people should, you know, not pick sides. Honestly, but there's no way people will do it. But I think people should be able to look at the, look at the problems on both sides and not be completely biased, but it's not the world we live in. It's not perfect, and I can't do anything about that. Um, you know, if if you're left, if if you're if you're a Democrat or if you're a Republican, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, you know, I still respect you guys. I respect you very much, uh, even if I disagree with you. Even if I disagree, uh, you know, I still re respect your opinions and stuff like that, your views. Um, I'm not the one to judge you. Okay, at the end of the at the end of the day, it's basically God's going to judge us, right? And you know, I used to be an extreme, extreme uh, atheist. Uh, then I was agnostic, and now I'm just kind of waiting, I guess. But I, like I said, I do use that term a lot. Maybe maybe it's not best to use that word as as much when I'm talking about things. I try not to be political on this channel. Um, you know, I've made mistakes in the past getting political. Uh, the only thing it does is it kind of causes people to run away. I don't want that. I want the channel to grow. So I'm going to try my best not to use that. Use any political stuff in my content. Uh, nothing political. Um, you know, I might, like I said, I might disagree with Chili. And I might say he's woke. And it's just the ideas that he has, he has said recently, that's made me draw that conclusion. Uh, Chili's not far right. Uh, he's not. He's not. He's. He, I mean, if he's if he's willing to call police Nazis, which, again, people use that word and try to. They make it less than what it is. That word is. Awful. That's one of the worst things you can call somebody. You don't see the police grabbing a ton of people, putting them in gas chambers. Chile might say, hey, they're going to go to dungeons and have torture cups and they're all bad and kill the cops. Um, but they're not Nazis. They're not Nazis. Uh, you know, they're just people that sign up to do a job. Sure, there's bad ones. There are. But what occupation doesn't have bad eggs? They all do. They all do. But he's not far left, and he's not far right. Uh, he's just a fucking idiot. And somebody in the comments said he's an anarchist. I never really think about that word that much. I never th think about it. I, I think that's a word that a lot of people don't really say. They they don't really use that idea. And maybe that's where I should have went with that. Maybe I should have been like, oh, yeah, he's an anarchist, not a woke person. But I was drawing that from the Summer of Love. Then you had, uh, well, they had these had these groups of people that took certain areas of some of the cities and locked them down. I think they used to call it one of them was called Chad or something like that, uh, where it was basically a lawless uh, little utopia that you know drugs, laws, and all that stuff didn't really exist, and the cities kind of allowed that to happen. And they all failed. Ultimately, they all failed. Uh, there has to be law and order. Has to be. Has to be. There can't be anarchy. Um, I mean, if there's anarchy, who's to stop somebody to come to my house, pull in a gun to my head, and just, just fire away, and steal everything I have, kill my family, and all this stuff? Who's, who's going to stop that? Who's going to stop that? That's a question you have to ask yourself. It's not going to be chilly. It's not going to be the First Amendment auditors. They're not going to come save you. They're not. And again, the justice system's not perfect. It's really not. It's really not. Um, it's not. 
We can, we can I'm not going to pretend it, pretend it is because it's not. But it, I want to end this. I don't want to get too political. I know some people are still going to disagree with me. Um, but that's your right to disagree. You're allowed to disagree with me. Uh, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fight you about it. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm set in my ways and you guys are set in your ways. Yes. Is there things I want to learn? It's a lot of things I need to learn. We all learn every day. We change our, change our minds every day. Uh, we learn new things that ultimately changes us, makes us who we are going to be. Now I've had people tell me that, Hey, you're going way off. You're, you're, you're doing something bad. You're going the wrong way. And I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I, I think, uh, if anything, these days, I'm a whole lot more wiser than I used to be. Am I smart? Not really. Am I perfect? No, not at all. Am I wrong? Maybe. Am I right? Maybe. But I can't really decide that, and I can't decide that for you. But the only thing I can say is I love you. And I'm glad you are speaking up to me. That's what I want on this channel. I really do. That's what I want on this channel. I want us to be able to talk. I want us to be able to disagree and talk to each other. That's what I want. Um, because at the end of the day, we're just human beings. We should be compassionate. Even if we disagree. To If we disagree, we should still be cool to each other. <laughs> I guess uh, makes me want to watch uh, the Big Lebowski. Just stay cool. Just stay cool. But um, like I said, I'm not going to apologize for it. But I am going to say I'm going to try not to be political on this channel anymore. Anything I have to say politically, um, it's going to drown out the message of this channel. And the ultimate message, for the most part, is mental health stuff and taking care of bullies. Maybe me being political makes me a bully. So I'm not really want to do that. Don't really want to do that. But I, 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 I'm not going to take back what I said. I'm not going to apologize for it. Um, I'm not going to do that. I got to stand my ground. I have to stand for something. Uh, or if I don't stand for something, then what am I worth? I'm not worth a damn if I'm not standing for something. We say what we want about Chili. At least he's, he's standing for himself right he's standing for himself so he's standing for something so he's worth something right uh maybe some belly button link went <laughs> lint and old botox uh you know i'm probably mo's burrito and insulin <laughs> but guys thank you so much for watching definitely appreciate it and be cool be cool